This is Salamancer. You watch Sal TV. I cast some video games. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait a minute. Actually, this is Salamancer. This is Sal TV. And no, I have a really great game to bring to you guys today. It is. A 10 points to Giffendor versus Vector Gaming. Both of these teams are really awesome. I did cast this, at least the last half of it, with XTV, so I kind of already know how it goes. But, uh, nonetheless, going to be a very, very awesome game here. I didn't get to cast the first half, and I thought, why not? These teams, um, both really awesome so far, and they're already off to a pause, so I've already revised my opinion downward. Okay, and they're back now. There we go. The pause was over. A little tiny little five second pause. Mileheim Militia asking for five seconds, and it was granted. Uh, and so already we do see that uh, the Giffendor team here is out on the point. And I, I have actually mistaken their name a little bit, Mike. But Mileheim Militia gets down there first. I will go over that in just a second. Right now we've got uh, scouts attacking each other over here. Red very very far back right now. They're losing a lot of players, and it looks like the uh, the old Giffendor team, which is now called Death Rattle, is uh, in control of the point very firmly. Vector Gaming there did not get anywhere near the uh, aggression that they wanted to at that fight. So uh, yes, Giffendor has changed their team name to get Death Rattle. They still have Giffy on the team, but I guess they just decided to, uh, that Death Rattle is a better name. So um, that is why their team. Uh, tag is changed over to dot is dead instead of dot end door. Um, but yeah, Vector Gaming, of course, with the same tag as always, and these guys have done some really awesome stuff so far in the season. Looks like Vector trying to push out here onto the point now, and yes, we are playing on CP Pro Viaduct, but here comes the Uber from Blue. Popped a little bit early, actually, so what they want to do for Vector is just stay alive as much as possible, and then counter pop. That's what they got to do. Trisk and Giffy now are dead, so their tags are really helping me out here that I, I keep to... Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep saying that like all game. But yeah, it looks like uh, some big kills coming in, but oh, Boulder, can he deal with this soldier right now? He cannot. Um... So, good jumps there. Not good damage by Boink. I believe that was Boink there to get out with, like, 18 health. Um, but, yes, Vector has now capped the point. So, the way King of the Hill works here in uh, ESCA, at least, of course, we're going to have two halves. But it's played to four points instead of five. So, 5CP is played to five all caps. Koth is played to four. And, oh, here comes a big jump by the soldier. But he gets taken down, Boink. Uh, knocked out by Schwan of Vector. And now, uh, Nex. Uh, oh gosh, I, I know his name is it's Nixter. I'm sorry, that's Nixter. NX is Nixter. Um, getting a big kill there as well. Uh, sentry gun coming out for Emro, who used to be Emron, I guess. Um, but that's because his tag was Endor. Never mind. So anyway, Emro there, the scout, one of the scouts. Oh, oh, Boink spots out Mile High Militia. Good try there. That was a really cute little tactic, but no, Boink had the presence of mind to look for that. Yes, uh, Vector and Giffendor here right now on King of the Hill. Pro Viaduct, it's played to four points, and of course, time is ticking down right now. Vector actually in the lead at the moment with time, but they've had to pop their Uber very early, and it looks like here comes the Uber now for Ryo Miyachi, who I believe is Pet. That is his name. He's just changed over to Ryo Miyachi for the day. I'm not entirely sure what the reference is, but I'm sure some of my viewers will get it, and they'll just be like, oh, Salamancer, you're such a nerd. Um, obviously, this is what it is. So uh, if, if you're watching right now and you know where the name Ryo Miyachi comes from, uh, put it in the YouTube comments because I, I would like to know as well, so I can be less of a nerd. Mile High with a very big jump in there, knocking out Blix, so uh, making sure that the UN Weapons Inspector, Hans Blix, does not get anywhere near all of the obviously illegal weaponry that is going on here on the middle point. Vector holding on once again, so they're putting a lot of time down on the point right now, and yes, Emro is still playing the Mini Sentry Engineer, so the, uh, the Breloom Revolution seems to be continuing today on King of the Hill Viaduct. So, um, I, I'm thinking that... I'm thinking that Ryo Miyachi should be able to get his team in here to especially... Oh, no! Especially if they make OGS or OSVG from Vector die right before he gets the Uber. I, uh, ooh, but Vector with some very big kills. Emro is dead, actually, and so is his sentry gun. They are both dead. Um, so Vector, even though they lost that, that Uber... It looks like they are still ready to hold on to the point for quite a while longer. Now, finally, the uh, Death Rattle team here, a.k.a. 10 points to Giffendor, uh, who they what's have been tagged as all season, so decided to change it just now. But these guys getting ready to push out here with a 100% Uber. They should be able to get onto that point. Um, the longer they wait, though, of course, the the easier it is for Mile, or I'm sorry, for Vector to take it back and hold it and until they win the game. So, I mean, you know, about if there's going to be about 30 seconds or less on the clock by the time they've actually capped this. The... Uh, Blue Uber just coming in now and being very aggressive with it. Very well done here. Pops Soldier up into the air. Does not manage to finish off Schwan, though. Schwan getting back away from that. So Uber did not get a lot of kills, but they at least got the point there. And yes, only 25 seconds left. So if Vector managed to recapture this very decisively, then they could have this round one. A minute and 40 seconds left still that uh, that Giffendor, Death Rattle, has to hold on to that point. So we'll see if they can do it. Right now we're just going to watch the... Uh, well, let's see. Oh, Boulder getting bombed in here, but it looks like Boink and Trisk are both down. Both of these soldiers here for Death Rattle. So they may lose this round very, very early. Mini Sentry 
still being a little pest over there, though. Um, but it looks like it's been taken down as well. They can just rebuild them, and another one going down right there. So no, uh, no, it is not going to be rebuilt. Anyway, Vector does push out onto the point once again, very decisively showing that uh, they are they're they're in it to win it today. So. Um, well done to them. I don't think that the Death Rattle team can manage to recapture this point before it runs down, so that may end up being the round. I could, to you know, be totally wrong because uh, I, I have known, I've been known to be wrong about these things many a time before. Big soldier jump in here does force the pop from red, but uh, hardly even any time on the point right now. There is block capture all over the place, and the uh, Death Rattle team losing too many players here. Emro now down. Mileheim Militia doing his best to kill this scout, and only the uh, medic left up there to try and walk on with the fierce needles cap, and he could not. Not manage to do it. They didn't manage to take out a single member of uh, Vector Gaming there. So Vector looking really strong this round. That was a pretty huge round for them. And I would like to see the Death Rattle team maybe uh, maybe do a little bit better because I, I hope the team isn't actually on their deathbed. Uh, it would it would not make sense to me considering how strong that team has been all season for them to uh, for them to die. So I, I hope that's just kind of a, a cute little pun on something else. Oh, a huge soldier jump in here, but Boink is taken down once again by Mile High Militia, who's been going very huge this round. Blix knocking out uh, Nixter, but Schwan now killing Emro. Giffy still hanging out over here, though, and dealing a lot of damage, making sure he screens for his damage classes. So, ooh, and here we go with a big shot there on Boulder, keeping him down away from Overheal. But now he goes down as well. Boulder, just some huge pipes right now. And <laughs> I know I sound a little bit like Duder with all the word huge, but yes, this is uh, this is pretty awesome. I know, I know, Duder, that is your word. So if you're watching this right now, um, I apologize. I'll, I'll stop. It's a registered trademark, actually, I think, of, of uh, the Duder man. Now, OSVG, though, pushes his team out here to capture once again. He's got that 100% Uber. Looks like they're trying to pressure in and make him pop it, but very well done by him. Look at the dodging here, walking around those rocks, making sure he does not take any damage. He's got about, oh, 60 health. Does finally have to pop the Uber, but not before most of, or at least half of, Death Rattle is dead. So their, their entire team now uh, having some tough times pushing on this point. They did pop the Uber significantly later, trying to deal some unreturned damage now, but, oh, their medic goes down to Nixter and Mileheim Militia. Trisk trying to get the revenge there for losing the medic, but that that means OSVG could have a really big uber advantage if he manages to stay alive. Emro right now coming in, doing some pressure. But yeah, there he goes down as well. So Vector just collapsing on top of the Giffindor team, and it's it's looking really good for them right now. They've put a whole minute on the clock. They've got an uber advantage, so it's going to be very difficult for Death Rattle to get in here and capture this point. Um, I don't know. I think we could see Vector go to a very early 2-0 right now. And honestly, uh, w when we came in after the half, I don't even remember what the score was because I might have been just a little bit inebriated yesterday. <laughs> and uh, guys, I'm like the world's biggest lightweight. I, I have no alcohol tolerance whatsoever. So I had like half of a beer yesterday and I was just completely conked out. It was hilarious. Uh, but no, I <laughs> when we were casting this, I do not actually remember who was winning at the halftime. And I'm not going to tell you who won the game because that would just spoil everything. But here we go. Uh, Schwan now trying to get the uh, the kill on the scout so that they don't have to pop the Uber, but it turns out they do have to pop the Uber just a little bit early here. Uh, Ryo Miyachi, a.k.a. Pet, is going to have his ready to go for when his team respawns, but look at how long Vector has been sitting on this point now. Uh, there has not been a single capture yet this round for Death Rattle, and that means that three minutes left versus a minute ten. Uh, we're probably going to see Vector win this round as well unless uh, Death Rattle pulls something huge here. Yeah, here comes the Uber right now, Rio, trying to hold on to it until they get right in position, and oh, there goes uh, some big jumping in, Schwan does take a lot of damage, but he's backed out, okay, Giffy has killed Nixter, and in return, Boink has gone down to Boulder, Trisk now trying to get some kills, and running back, it looks like Blue did finally manage to capture there with that Uber push, but under a minute left for Vector to see if they can't retake it and hold it, um, Thrixter trying to get some big kills here, he's under pressure by a scout right now, having to run back and grab that health kit, but he's going to be uh, just okay. Getting back over here and still managing to deal some pressure on the flanks around the point. Um, oh, Boulder goes down there, but uh, looks like that was a while ago, actually. Emro and Blix both dying right now. And now Giffy as well. Oh, this is huge. It looks like a big soldier jump here, just kind of out of desperation to force the Uber pop. So at least they managed to do that. Uh, actually, should take that Uber off of their scout, but uh, whatever. They, they managed to capture fast enough, so Nixter's not too worried about being Ubered. Um, but yeah, we've got now, once again, the Giffindor team, a.k.a. Death Rattle. I, I've got to stop calling him Giffindor. Um... But Death Rattle uh, marching out here with 100% Uber advantage once again, so we could we could actually see a pretty big uh, turnaround here. They need to capture this point though. They got to get on it very very quickly because it's only 30 seconds left until Vector wins this round as well. Trisk with a big jump in, no Uber popped yet for Rio Miyachi. He hasn't had to pop it on anybody. They're just getting in here and capping without even bothering to pop the Uber. But what they really want to do, remember, is is uh, knock out OSVG and make sure that they don't get to an even Uber situation. Um, right now they do hold the middle 
middle ground, but they are slowly getting pressured away from it, and they may get you know, right back off of the point. It sounds like OSVG has called Uber just to kind of confuse the enemies, and so now, of course, he does actually have that Uber ready to go, but here's the thing. Uh, if they want to, oh, if they want to, 10 points to gift, no, I'm sorry, Death Rattle can get on here and block the capture with their own Uber, and they've actually forced OSVG to pop first, so this is really huge here, and now Ubering the Demo Man, oh, trying to predict where that soldier's going to land, doesn't quite manage to get him, but uh, Boink does go down there to Schwan. Um, OSVG here with his Uber popped first, and now finally the blue Uber getting popped here. Death Rattle popping it on just the one Demo Man, but they're holding on to this point for quite a long time, actually. They've held on to it to a minute 30 so far, and if they can hold... Oh, I don't know, there's like five up right now. Oh, Schwan, OSVG going down to Blix right before he dies there. That was beautiful play by our Demo Man, Blix. Um, bringing in the weapons inspection crew once again and saying, no, this is this is highly illegal, and you are not allowed to have all this stuff out here at all. What is this, a medigun? That doesn't even exist in real life, so no. It looks like uh, it's like Hans Blix here with just just some uh, laying down the law there. Very very close round right now actually because Vector is in overtime or actually not even in overtime yet but just one second. So if they recapture the point, that is it. But right now some decent point defense by our blue team here. It's just that Death Rattle is taking a lot of damage. Giffy and Trisk are both very hurt. Giffy now down here and let's just uh, let's find Mileheim Militia. He's trying to do some damage, but no, it sounds like oh a mini sentry up once again. Emro doing some huge damage and huge defense on the point with the mini sentries. And of course because of the topography of this map, uh, you can't even see where it is until you get over here or until you jump into the air. So that is a pretty cool thing, um, in my opinion. Of course, I'm sure everybody on Red Team absolutely hates it. But now uh, they're building up this Uber, and actually, look at this, only 50 seconds left on the clock. Death Rattle has the Uber ready to go, so they can defend it for quite a while. OSVG just now building his up, and Vector, if they want to win this round, they got to get in here. They've Ubered very, very early, though. They're not forcing the blue Uber, and this is the crazy thing that I've seen. Pet has done such a good job this round of holding those Ubers until they need them. They've also done a very good job on the Death Rattle team of forcing Ubers very early out of OSVG. Lots of deathmatching on this point right now, and it looks like Blix has gone down, but OSVG, Boulder down right now as well. Uh, Thrixter and Schwan, the only ones left up, and they are very, very hurt. It looks like Mileheim Militia is coming back up, but Schwan goes down to Trisk, so I'm pretty sure that uh, 10 points to Giffendor actually has this. I keep calling them Giffendor. It's Death Rattle, but I'm pretty sure they have this point. Um, yeah, oh, Giffy goes down there to Mile High, though. Mile High is not... No, he's, he just now died. Oh, the point is getting captured, though, by a scout standing on it. It's going to go into overtime for sure here. And can they actually cap this? Oh, pushing enemies off the point. I think they've got it. I think they actually have this this cap. It's going to be so close, though. Look at all the deathmatching going on right now. Only two left alive for each team. It's Mile High and Thrixter versus Emro and Blix. Uh, Emro goes down. It's just Blix, the demo man left. But that sentry is still there. And oh, no, it looks like actually in, in a overtime finish here, I think we may see uh, Death Rattle win this round. Oh, just barely there they go death rattle with like a one second left on that cap for uh, their opposing team did manage to win that was a pretty big deal and a huge momentum shift there for the uh, death rattle team in the blue trunks right now these guys are looking very very strong at the moment they're they tend to be getting to these mid points a lot quicker and setting up their positions quite a bit better um an interesting little soldier jump there he actually ended up clipping you know that uh that bridge so that's never fun but uh yeah blue did take early positioning but now they've lost two players once again mile high going for uh the bomb in after the enemy soldier here a uh, soldier already down there and it looks like just schwan and boulder down for red emro with the mini sentries once again so we've still got the uh the little mini sentry engineer revolution going on um and there you go, the first capture to Death Rattle. So Vector having to back off. This is kind of like the, the first round that we saw where Vector was playing very, very defensively. Even though they got some initial early kills, they just didn't have the positioning that they wanted to. They didn't really have that territory. Um, so we actually have, let's see, Mile High Militia now pushing out to the left-hand side. I think he's playing kind of the roaming soldier here for Vector, and he wants to push in all, oh yeah, all the attention right now is focused over on the right. If he can make a big sentry jump, or I'm sorry, a rocket jump, I'm so tired, guys, but if he can make a, a big rocket jump, he might want to do that. Looks like the Ubers are popped once again, and the Uber fading significantly later for Blue Team. They popped theirs later, so they get to hold on to it just that little bit longer. They've been doing a very good job this whole game so far on the Death Rattle team of holding those Ubers and forcing the enemies. Um, right now, Schwan taking some heals, but it looks like he. Uh, everybody on uh, Red Team is very lit up right now. And oh, Rio Miyachi getting hurt though. Pet taking some damage, but now there is a dispenser. It looks like it's at least level two behind the point there. So 
Uh, oh, and look at this. Giffy getting around behind the enemy team. Is he done yet? No. He ends up finishing off Schwan there with uh, with help from Boink. So at least a 2K there and an assist for Giffy, and he's going to be happy about that. Uh, the Death Rattle team now holding on to this point for a significantly long amount of time. It's down to about 130, and they're going to have an Uber advantage. So just like Vector had last round, we're going to see Death Rattle this round with a very big time advantage on the point. This is actually, is this the first sniper play we've seen all game? Nixter on the sniper right now looking to kill. Does manage to get a body shot there, fully charged on Giffy, so it does 150 damage, uh, and of course he only had like 125 health as a scout, so I mean, what are you going to do, right? Oh, Nixter getting bombed in by the soldier, Jurati, perfect Jurati there, but they know that there's a sniper now, and there he goes, Trisk getting the kill, coming around from the side, and Boink just heading back to his medic there instead of trying to push in, so um, that was actually a really cute play by both of the soldiers there from uh, the the Death Rattle team, let me see if I can find a soldier to, to look at, but what they did was they sent... Uh, Trisk in first, I want to say. He bombed in on the sniper, but he saw he wasn't going to get the kill, so he immediately jumped back out and then told his other soldier to go in and uh, and dive in, actually. And actually, I think it was Boink who bombed in, but they, they basically did a bait-and-switch, where one soldier went in first and... Um, and distracted everybody, and the other one went in around the side after the first one backed out and knew he wasn't going to get that kill, and that's how they got that sniper pick. Very, very effective play. Uh, you actually see that sort of play a lot on Spire from Badlands as well, but here we go. Oh, Uber popped early here for uh, for Vector once again. They, are, they have captured the point for the first time this round, and now trying to pressure back the blue team here, but Pet once again has his Uber ready to go, so we're going to have to see whether they push out. They're actually hanging out um, near their spawn right now. And they do still have a teleporter up somewhere. Oh, it's right back here. Okay, that's a cute little spot for it. So uh, they don't want to, of course, teleport everybody one at a time. They actually walked most of their team through. But it's a neat little uh, reinforcement spot for whenever they need it. So Blix right now pushing out behind the medic combo. Trisk actually getting knocked down by a pill before the Uber is popped, and that's a pretty big deal, losing a soldier. But Schwan goes down right away, and no Uber here for the red team right now. They are caught way out of position. They could actually take a lot of damage here, but no. The Uber on the demo man here is fading already. Boink takes a little bit of damage from his rocket jump. Not a lot. Um, but that Uber fading, they did manage to get the point secured once again. So... 30, about 30 seconds left for the Death Rattle team, and they have all six of their members up right now. It's just they don't have much of an uber advantage, so Vector could push in with this, and we're going to have to see whether they do it. Right now, they don't hold a lot of good positioning, so they've, they've basically let the enemy get... Uh, and look at this positioning here by our soldier, actually. Boink is looking for things to kill. The uber is finally popped for Vector, and Boink just kind of backing out there. Oh, big sticky trap on Mile High Militia now, and... Um, Nixter's finally getting onto this point, helping capture it. It's about eight seconds left for the Death Rattle team. As soon as they recapture it, I think they should have this round. They're already doing so. Boink trying to get an Uber... Or I'm sorry, I keep saying Ubersaw because I play Medic. But that is an equalizer kill. And instead, just backing out here, going to uh, surround uh, the Vector Medic and, and force him through this little choke area. OSVG goes down to Trisk in return. So Trisk playing off his other soldier there very well. Boink doing a great job of roaming and forcing the enemy into a bad position. So it is now 2-1 to one for Death Rattle against Vector Game and are we going to see oh interesting uh, mile high militia on the heavy this round so we'll have to see whether the heavy can actually work of course since it's it's such a very short distance to get out to that um, capture point a heavy is totally viable here of course look how much slower he's being than the enemy team but boink already has gone down and where is the action happening right now we've got some jumps both teams just kind of setting up behind their respective rocks though and here is the heavy putting down some damage getting that overheal up he's going to be a massive wall of hp on this point and di dishing out a a lot of damage with that minigun, but he's got to, you know, even even with the heavy, you take so much damage because you just can't get out of the way that you still got to be careful, and we do have this mini sentry up once again, um, it, it goes down just a little bit there, but Vector getting some time on the point right now, and they, they need to get on and capture it, looks like they do send a scout to do just that, but uh, he doesn't quite manage to get it, oh, there they go, finally the point is captured there for Vector first this round, and jump by our soldier here, but I don't think it's going to matter too much, he's just kind of falling back, finally the Ubers are popped for both teams, it's popped second once again for blue so fading last there for blue and they're, t they're dealing a little bit of unreturned damage there before they, they finally fade and start taking some of their own um, but the oh that capture going down so quickly and an uh, uh, equalizer kill there almost said Ubersaw again but equalizer kill there for Boink is dead versus Schwan Schwan not going to be very happy about that now Thrixter on the sniper and he's looking to see if he can't get some kills here enemy sniper as well though he's got oh, gotta watch out for that these sniper battles so intense but it looks like he actually got Emro and goes down to Giffy so Giffy with the headshot, but now Nixter deciding that, hey, you've got a mini-sentry, we're going to have a mini-sentry. 
So, uh, Mini Sentry over here for Blue Team is very damaged. Actually, they're both damaged right now. And there goes Nixter. Giffy knocking down the Sentry Gun as well. But Boulder's managed to get that kill. Oh, no. Boink pops him up into the air, though. No air shot, but he gets... Wow, Giffy's just going crazy right now, using body shots even to kill everything. But, I mean, he's getting them. Looking like he wanted to kill that Medic there as well, but the Medic did manage to hop around the corner. And, no, he finally gets knocked out by Thrixter. Thrixter managed to find him. And uh, that's the problem with Sniper is you, you just go for so many shots, and sometimes if you stay in the same place, that enemy Sniper's going to come right back and be like, yeah, you're still there. Well, huh, noob. Of course, Giffy is nothing, uh, nothing near a noob, but he did stay in the same place there, so that is how he got caught out very quickly. Thrixer on the sniper once again, and in a very forward position here, but he's going to back off just a little bit. Uh, basically, what what I think Red Team is going to want to do, they want to kind of have most of their core hanging out up here to to delay the enemy from really being able to push in. Of course, it's going to force the enemy to kind of, you know, their death rattle to stay back on this high ground, stay back behind the buildings, behind cover, so they don't take a lot of damage but until they, they finally want to push out here, which they're doing. But then, of course, they're keeping the sniper very far back, uh, so he can deal some damage as they push forward, and basically be unmolested. Finally, a big soldier. Oh, big soldier jump in here, knocking down, first thing, a sentry gun, and now trying to take out a uh, demo, but that's not going to happen quite yet. Boulder, with some huge uh, damage out here, doesn't quite get the kills. Everybody's finishing him off with those hit scan shotguns. But there goes the Uber, finally, for Vector. So, uh, if they actually can't kill Pet here, they'll have just a little bit of a disadvantage, But except that Pet's not healing anybody, so maybe not. Um, Vector, though, with their own dispenser behind the point now, uh, and ooh, Blix getting taken out there. So, uh, you know, UN weapons inspections are going to be a little bit delayed today. Boink trying to get on the point now. They really want to get that capture time continued, but uh, Vector so far looks like they're gaining a little bit in terms of time on point. Giffy coming around for a flank right now, and while the uh, while the push comes in from Blue Team, he's coming around. Oh, look at those Frontier Justice crits, though. That could be huge. Uh, Giffy's just all over the place, though. Got great movement as a scout, and it looks like he's actually managed to ca almost cap the point. There he goes, just standing on that point there with the entire red team right behind the rocks, and Giffy managed to capture it and get away. So that is pretty cool. Um, looks like Vector Gaming, though dropping, uh, yeah, they're, they're trying to drop, Emerald now, now down, Giffy down, Mile High did take a hit there, but oh, the uber battle here, once again between b both of these teams, um, once again, just a little bit lasting longer for Blue, uh, they, they're popping later every single time, and Boom, there you go, big uh, soldier jumps here right now. Huge play, and can Schwan get anything? No, right now he's just getting double teamed by soldiers. Lots of damage coming down on him, and he dies right away. So the Death Rattle team coming back onto this point, and it's a close game right now. Uh, but I think Death Rattle is going to put a lot of time on the point here. Actually, they don't have a significant uber advantage. Wait a minute. Let me just find uh, OSVG here. No, he is still running the regular medigun. So uh, I was thinking he was building that up pretty fast. But actually, they're building at the same speed. So I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, like I said, they're pretty tired. I got like four hours of sleep last night. And it was not very good sleep. But uh, we'll, you know, we'll talk about that later. Vector now not building their uber as fast as they quite could be. Nixter takes a little bit of a hit there, trying to set up his mini sentry. I think maybe maybe that was a sniper, or maybe it was this soldier over here. But Giffy and Boink are both down right now. And actually, there is no sniper, so it was definitely the soldier, but Giffy's been taken out, and so now I think Vector is going to feel very confident about pushing out here. Uh, they do still have the Uber, so does Blue, but Blue has had to back way the heck away just because they have lost two of their players. Blix getting knocked out as well. I'm not sure what he was going for there. Maybe an aggressive jump to, to force a pop, and then here comes a soldier to try and do the same thing. Mile High Militia helping knock him down, though, and there you go, getting the kill on Emro. Now the sentry gun has been taken out for Emro as well, so uh, wait a minute. What? No, okay. My bad. Yes, that was a sentry gun for Emerald. So, Death Rattle uh, finally forcing the pop here out of Vector Gaming. But Vector holding the point right now, and Mile High Militia in a very forward position. He's even stolen one of the health kits from Blue Team here. So, uh, of course, that's exactly what you want to do as Vector Gaming. You want to make sure that, uh, especially as a roaming soldier, play health kit to health kit whenever you can. And look at that dropping right back to his medic as soon as he needs to. The Uber's now, just now popped for Blue Team, and Vector only has about 33%. So, uh, if this point gets captured here, by the Death Rattle team, I do not think that Vector is going to have time to build up an Uber to capture it back. They're going to have to push on here and get some better DM, because uh, they don't have time to build this Uber up anymore. They might! They just might, though. So I could be wrong. Big Sticky Trap coming around behind that sign, but it's a very common location. I don't think it's going to catch anybody. They do see it now. LSVG gets taken down by Giffy, though, and that's going to be huge. Um, but Vector, with five players up right now, they've dealt a lot of damage to Blix, and he's having to drop back to his medic. Uh, Vector is going to get this point back. Can they hold on to it for long enough? Mile High getting in here and trying to force the enemy medic to pop. Um, doesn't, oh, no, doesn't even have the uber oh eight health left on rio miyachi i think that was an eight anyway i can't even tell what the numbers are right now because wow uh, but that was so little health there he goes he gets taken out but now it's giffy's turn to get out here and wow uh, it, it is right now scout versus engineer engineer with the crits and he does end up taking out the scout but trist getting here onto the point i don't know who's going to win this round every single one of these rounds so far has been pretty darn close um 
the Death Rattle team, only with 12 seconds left, they have captured the point. Now the Sniper was trying to get onto it, but that's not going to work at all. They need, really need to just back out a little bit there. Oh no! Vector getting chased down here! OSVG goes down as well, and I think that... Oh my gosh, I don't even know. I was going to say I think uh, Death Rattle has it, but now so much damage coming down. Boulder, they are dying, and uh, Nixter needs to get on that point right now, but no, it's only him against like five people. So there he goes, and Death Rattle brings it to 3-1, to one, and that is going to be halftime. Uh, of course, Death Rattle only needs one more point here to win, but uh, we'll see what happens after the half. Halftime is over, and we're going to have to see if Vector can bring it back, because right now, even though these rounds have been so extremely close, uh, Vector is down 1-3 to three against Death Rattle. One more point here, and Death Rattle will win, but we're going to see here right now, uh, Nixter looking through the scope, seeing if he can't get a kill here, and, and oh, big body shot on the Medic. That Medic only has like 30 health left right now, and gets taken down. So uh, Pet is down right now. And of course, now it is actually Death Rattle's turn to be playing in the Red Trunks. But they've got their mini sentry set up. They've got a lot of players set up right now. OSVG taking some hits. Where is he? Uh, in fact, it looks like he may be... Um, I don't even know where OSVG is right now. He managed to get away, so actually went ran all the way back to spawn. The Vector team has lost the point, but they have a big Uber advantage, and they're going to be able to push back out here pretty soon with it. Uh, they even have a player advantage right now. So, so I do think we're going to see Vector get some... Um, Get some time on this point very, very quickly. They're having to deal with a little bit of a sticky trap and some good spam in by Blix. And, oh, here comes the soldier jumping in right away. This is what we've seen uh, Giffendor do basically all game is try and jump on that medic and make him pop very, very quickly. Vector has, in fact, already popped the Uber, but they popped it way up here, and we're going for some kills on Death Rattle. Death Rattle, though, very wisely backing away from that. Um, good job to them. And now Giffy coming straight into the medic. OSVG is down. thrixter has been taken out, but now uh, Giffy and Blix both going down here. Schwan and Boulder dealing some big damage. So uh, Vector has now captured the point, and we are going to see if they can hold on to it for all the time they need. Uh, about 45 seconds there um, captured for Death Rattle after the beginning of the round. So, of course, we need at least 45 seconds here for it to be even, but I think Vector should, well, maybe should be able to have that. Oh, Nixter with a big kill on, I'm sorry, Nixter with a big kill on Boink there, and uh, he's not ready, you know, he's not done yet. The problem for Death Rattle right now, they want to push in and capture that point with this Uber, but they don't want to pop the Uber early, and the thing is, Pet um, doesn't want to really push into a sniper right now, so there he goes, he does finally pop it, uh, and so now the players are invincible, pushing back the blue team considerably, Schwan taking a lot of damage here, and there goes Schwan, first casualty of the day, but... Uh, Thrixter now has some Frontier Justice crits to play with, so we're going to have to see if he can get those. Uh, Nexter gets taken down, but Thrixter did end up getting Giffy with the crits, so awesome! Frontier Justice coming into play. Uh, did he just, like, shoot his own sentry down? I'm pretty sure that's not what happened, but it kind of looked like it, so that was that was kind of hilarious, actually. Um, yeah, Thrixter is going to be stealing a lot of metal away from his soldiers and demo men, but I don't think they're going to matter. You know, I don't think they're going to care too much. He's probably going to have a dispenser trying to go up at some point. There they go. They do capture the point once again, so the, these times are about even right now, and I think Vector... I mean, these teams are so evenly matched. I think Vector has what it takes to, to bring this game back. They've, you know, some of the rounds they've lost, they've only lost by like one second, literally one second or less. It's been an overtime for some of them. So uh, we're going to have to see whether they can do it or whether Death Rattle can just say, no, you know what, this is, uh, this is the end, this is the last round. And so far, I mean, look at those even times. Vector is holding on to the point right now, and both teams have an Uber. So, I mean, what Vector really needs to do here is try and spot out OSVG. Uh, I'm sorry, not OSVG. Spot out uh, Pet. My bad. And see if they can't get him to pop early, because that way, of course, they will be able to maintain their Uber on the point as kind of a counter. Uh, Medic over here right now. Nixter gets taken out, though, by Giffy. And now uh, OSVG is kind of like, oh, crap, where's that sniper? Where's that sniper? Where's that sniper? Has to pop early just to make sure he doesn't get killed by all the various jumpers and snipers and whatever else. And, of course, that means, look at this. Uh, Giffy with another kill there on Mile High Militia, who was not being Ubered at the time. Now, almost everybody, in fact, everybody down. That was almost a complete wipe there for the Vector team. So, supported by their sniper, the big damage classes for Death Rattle have pushed onto the point right now. They're going to start setting up as much of the uh, the damage as they can. Look at Blix getting really far forward here, seeing if he can't just spam that little corner there. Um, doesn't want to get all that far forward, because it's actually a really bad position to be standing right in front of those chokes. Uh, you can get flanked so hard. But, oh, it sounds like Giffy is now dominating Mixter in the sniper wars here. So Giffy just going huge with the sniper, and it seems like every time he pulls out that sniper rifle, he has gotten like five or six kills with it um, before he dies. So this is amazing. 
they do know where he is now. They kind of know how to hide from him. So, I mean, he's not going to play sniper the whole game, obviously, just because, of course, once they know, they're like, okay, well, we're not going to, you know, we're not going to fall fall for that anymore. But Giffy's still looking out here, and his team looking very aggressive on the point. And no, Mile High still gets taken out there. Uh, Giffy now kind of concerned there may be a sniper watching him. And in fact, Nixter is watching him. There you go. Spotted him out of the corner of his eye, but Nixter just knew exactly where to look. So now, turns out that uh, Vector is no longer pushing into a sniper, and that's going to force, uh, you know, just the presence of their sniper is going to force Death Rattle way, way back towards, uh, towards you know, cover so they don't get sniped like crazy people. Here comes the Uber for Red trying to stop this capture because uh, they do not want to give up this point very easily. But there goes uh, Trisk flying up in the air in front of our screen and just uh, flopping down on the floor. Mile High gets taken down by Emro's shotgun there, so I do love seeing the engineer play, but Emro gets taken out. Uh, just not a lot he could do about that. Still dispenser hanging out right there, but uh, where is our sniper right now? Nixter just standing on that middle point and looking for stuff to kill. And does he find anything, though? Um, we'll have to see. That's an interesting little angle. He did spot a scout walking out past there, and I think he saw that that scout was overhealed, so he may be expecting kind of a... A, a medic play to come out there, but no. And the control point actually getting captured very quickly here by the red team. They've been very, very aggressive. No Uber here for OSPG right now. He's trying to build it up, trying to dodge all the spam that's coming in at him. And can he do it? Yes, he can, actually. Um, point has been captured with a little mini sentry on it, but that's only going to delay by like half a second, so it's not a huge deal. And these scores, once again, very, very close. Vector here capping the point again with about 40 seconds left to go. There's only time for the one Uber from red team, and right now they're down half of their damage classes. They've just brought their uh, engineer right back up, so Emro getting up here and looking like uh, still wants to play the engineer still running the mini sentry but uh, oh Giffy with another big headshot there on Nixter and now trying to knock out this mini sentry so he does helping his team push forward just a little bit more oh the ubers pop just before he gets that headshot there on the uh, soldier though Schwan chasing down and trying to deal damage to this team and it looks like he's gotten Blix so I think that Vector is actually holding on to this point only about 10 seconds left and they forced back the death rattle team everybody on death rattle taking so much damage right now and Rio trying to heal it up but to no avail I don't think it's going to matter look at that sniper get gibbed to death, and oh no, Pet wanted to uh, get the kill there on Boulder with the needles. That's not going to happen. But there you go, guys. That is the round. So now it's actually 2-3. to three. Vector is bringing it back, and we could see a epic comeback here for Vector. It's not quite like an 0-3 comeback, but uh, uh, so far, so good. I mean, the Death Rattle team doing a very, very good job this game, but Vector kind of turning it around in the second half. Uh, both these teams have just been doing amazing. So here, once again, we've got big, aggressive soldier jumping here by the red team, but Boink goes down once again. That's actually uh, been the story of the night. I think a soldier has died first for the Death Rattle team just about every time, and Nixter coming out here with the snipes, looking for the medic, but no, medic backs off there uh, just for a little bit. Nixter, oh yeah, he he is he wants that medic so bad right now. Oh, doesn't get the shot. So that's that's a little too bad. Uh, he's he, in fact missing quite a few of his shots there. Finally knocks out Emro, so no more mini sentries going to pop up after that one goes down um, for a little while anyway. But he right now can't spot the enemy. Uh, cannot spot the enemy medic that he really wants to kill and meanwhile the point still has not been captured for either team here which is uh, a little bit strange but of course sometimes these fights do last quite a while Blix having to drop back though and does end up getting taken down by most of the vector team so vector looking strong once again they're going to capture the point and mile high you are way out of position what are you doing over here uh, trying to pressure the medic does deal like 50 damage or so to pet aka rio miachi but rio is uh probably going to be able to deal with that just fine. No, his, his medic regen is getting that right back up, so he'll be back up at 150 to push out here in no time. And yes, they are going to push the point right now. They've got a big Uber advantage, so they want to use it. And yeah, I, I do think they're going to be able to capture it. They have not had to pop the Uber yet, but there goes Giffy right now, and Emro actually taking a lot of damage as well. Uh, medic staying very, very close to his pocket. Soldier Trisk at the moment. Um, and who is he healing right now? I Let's see, he's healing Boink, so he wants to keep up with his soldiers alive here. I think that's what they're d depending on for this push. They want to make sure their soldiers stay alive here. Oh, we got some Frontier Justice crits from Thrixter, though. This could be pretty fun to watch. Um, as the enemies bomb in here, Thrixter going to go try and see if he can't... Oh! <laughs> lots of damage coming down there on the Boink. Boink has one HP left. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, there he goes. Finally getting knocked out by a... Uh, by a sticky bomb, and then Schwan goes down to Giffy. So once again, Giffy's on the sniper, and I mean, how can we not watch the sniper cam from Giffy? Um, it, as long as uh, as long as he's not found out by Nixter, of course, here he should be able to deal a lot of damage very quickly behind enemy lines. But no, Nixter does find him. So Nixter winning the sniper battle once again. That means Vector is going to have a huge advantage here on the midpoint. They are going to be able to recapture it very, very quickly here. So here they go, Vector with. Uh, 
uh, with with a really good capture, and they're going to get some more time on this point. They do not have an Uber advantage, but look at this Rio Miyachi actually with a hundred percent Uber and nobody to use it on at the moment. So they're going to have to wait quite a while before they push out here. Now they've finally got their players ready to go. I want to see Thrixter use these Frontier Justice crits, but uh, we'll have to see what happens and how that works out. Uh, the pu the push is coming in now. We've got a scout over on the uh, the ridge, as it were cliffside, that's what we'll call it, the cliffside and the stair side. I remember X-Time was telling us all about that, but uh, Nexter ends up getting the kill there on Blix, and Thrixter's already wasted his crits, so didn't, didn't, didn't get the kill. I would have loved to see that, but oh well. Boulder now uh, dropping down some stickies to try and delay this Uber from pushing into them, uh, and it looks like they've been able to do it. Uh, OJ, OESVG, I'm sorry, is so very close to his Uber, and he does manage to get it up there without taking any damage, so um, that's what she said, but you know what? Vector is going to be able to push in no problem and retake this point right away. In fact, they didn't even lose it, so they're putting a lot of time on the point right now. They've got the Uber ready to go. Their players are damaged right now. Emro goes down, though, to Thrixter's Frontier Justice Crits, so there we go. We finally saw some of those happen. Schwan now down in Boulder as well. I think uh, they may end up having to pop this Uber to save the point, but oh, there you go. They, they did take down Giphy with the Mini Sentry. So OSVG dropping back behind the point, and he's got he's still got the Uber, but they're they're giving a lot of time here for Pet to build his back up. It's just they're also taking a lot of time on the point. But really, oh, Girardi knocked down right now, and big damage coming in. Blix gets knocked out by Boulder there, who is now finally Ubered. And oh wow, Boulder is get it going huge with these stickies. Holy crap, that's uh, that's some crazy kills there from Boulder right now. Uh, Nixter gets the kill on Giffy. With a little bit of help from his friend in crime, Thrixter, both of them the uh, main scouts for Vector. Right now they are on Sniper and Engineer. Meanwhile, we do have Double Scout for Team Death Rattle. So they're pushing out here with the normal 6v6 loadout, which, I mean, here on uh, uh, King of the Hill Viaduct is not always a perfectly optimal loadout, just because the scouts aren't always able to deal as much damage as, say, like a heavy or a... a uh, even an engineer or a sniper or something. So they, but right now they look, they're really feeling confident about pushing in. They did have that big Uber advantage. They pushed in with it, got the kill on Nixter, dealing a lot of damage to the enemy team, but taking a lot themselves. They did manage to capture the point though, and now they'll be able to get some uh, cover. In fact, pushed into Boulder there, so Boulder now down. But Vector has kept their Uber advantage here with both of their soldiers alive and pushing forward with a sniper right now. Oh, OSVG taking a pill to the feet there, which got to hurt. But uh, that's not that's not how you eat pills, by the way. You should probably put them in your mouth. Uh, but no, Vector. Looks like they should be able to push here. Yeah, they've got the Uber once again and pushing onto the point. This this round is looking good for them. Uh, I think they're going to have this, and OSVG did have to pop there, but it was a good, a pretty pretty decent, at least, Uber pop. Um, Thrixter with the, the mini-sentry once again killing uh, Giffy, and oh, Boink trying to bomb in there, but he gets taken down once again by a headshot in mid-air. So Nixter on the sniper is going beast mode right now and holding down the point here for Vector. Vector Gaming, I think, is going to have this capped, and that should mean that... Uh, that our team death rattle is going to see the game tied up they don't want that mile high ends up getting taken down there and i you know what maybe death rattle can actually get on this point and if they can hold it of course they win the game but that's another minute and 30 that they have to hold against the enemy who once again has an uber advantage osvg has been doing such a great job of dropping back letting the enemy pop their uber now so it looks like they finally found their groove here and thrixter with another kill here or at least another uh, attempted kill got a lot of help there for nixter and there you go with the frontier justice straight in the face of giffy giffy had nowhere to go from that so here comes the pop right now from OSVG, bringing his soldier up to the point, and he is pushing into only four players right now of the enemy team, so I think they're going to be able to recapture this, and once they do in overtime, that means they just instantly win. Uh, Vector is, yeah, getting some big kills. Blix down right now. Uh, Pet, the medic, actually gone down. Boink, one of the soldiers, is down as well. So Death Rattle loses that round. It's 3-3, three to three, and whoever wins the next round wins this game and continues on in the playoffs. Of course, uh, whoever loses this game is out of the playoffs. So yes, I, I think I might have even forgotten to mention that this is an official playoffs match, but these guys are, of course, playing like it's an official playoff map, um, and getting very close to the finals at this point. So um, yeah, Team Vector here, going to try and come out with some big kills, and looks for the snipe there on the medic once again. Didn't quite manage to get it, uh, and Nixter now taking some damage, but oh, huge headshot on Blix there, and now uh, the medic is going to have to drop back, but oh no, Nexter gets taken down from the side. So Giffy doing his job there as a scout and really chasing down the hurt enemies there as much as possible. Now pistoling down that mini sentry, that's so much fun. But it looks like Death Rattle with a very strong push onto the middle point. They're going to hold onto it, and they have a big Uber advantage right now. So I think they're liking their chances at the moment of winning this game. It's just that it's it's still anybody's game, as we've seen. Uh, we've, we've actually seen some big in, intra-round. I want to say intra-round. That's, that's not a word. But um, 
uh, comebacks inside the same round is what I'm trying to say. So um, just because you got a lot of time on the clock doesn't mean you're necessarily going to be able to uh, hold the enemy off of it. And right now we do see that OSVG is trying to get his Uber up here. They're actually pushing very, very far forwards, uh, even considering that they do not have the point right now and they don't have a player advantage. But here's the Uber ready to go for Vector. They've got to get out there and they really want to try and make it pop or drop for the red team first. Oh, Giffy getting the kill on next though. Um, so, Nixter down, that means that blue team is going to have to push into a sniper. They're probably going to have to Uber a little bit early. Oh, uh, Soldier gets popped up in the air there. Blix doing some damage, but the Uber gets popped now for red. They're having to multi-flash, multi-Uber to different players just to save them, so that Uber is going to fade relatively quickly. In fact, fade at the same time for both players, but Giffy immediately body shots uh, OSVG as soon as that's over. Schwan now goes down as well to Trisk. Uh, Mile High is going to try and get in here and deal some damage, but he's getting knocked out, in, out of the air by a mini-sentry. Oh, managed to kill Giffy with that last rocket before he cratered into the ground. So now, <laughs> Giffy, oh, you're such a meanie, uh, is uh, no longer sniping for his team, and of course that means Blue should be able to push out here a little bit easier. They've got the sniper advantage at the moment, and that's a huge advantage here on Viaduct. I mean, this is such a sniper-friendly map. Um, you got to watch your head as as, uh, as the red team right now. They have brought Giffy back out, though, and we'll have to see if Giffy can find Nixter or if it's going to be the other way around. Giffy now looking down the side. No, cannot get the kill just yet, so he's going to back off. Um, throw the pee bottle at somebody, and there you go. He, he's managed to hit his soldier with it. But can he manage to get any kills right now because uh, he's, he's, he's kind of in a tenuous position here. Oh, gets the kill on OSVG. Whoa! Just sneaking around that corner there, and that was some amazing work by him. Now dropping down beneath the point, but look at this. Uh, Vector does still hold on to the point and, and holding it pretty firmly considering they've actually got a uh, dispenser up there healing up our soldier right now. And, oh man, Emro is very, very close to death, but he's got his medic. Medic actually pushing out with the Uber, so they really want to cap this point right now. Do not give a lot of time up here to Vector, who have only had about 40 seconds this round so far on the point. And yeah, they're, they're capturing it very quickly. Nothing Vector can really do about this. Uh, dropping out a couple of mini-sentries, but that's not going to deal a heck of a lot of damage, especially not when you've got your medic up and everybody's focusing them down. So, um... Death Rattle with some very, very strong time on this point. They only need about a minute 10 left to go before they win the game and continue on in the finals. I think Death Rattle may have this, but I do not want to call it early because this game... Um uh, this game has been incredibly, incredibly close so far. So Vector now pushing out there. They're pushing out with about 70% right now, so they're going to have the Uber as soon as he walks out there. Problem is, Giffy is still on the sniper. Let's see if we can't find the... Uh the Giffy cam. He, I think he was trying to throw the uh, the Gerati somewhere, but he ended up kind of uh, hitting a wall or something and, and making a comment on that now. Oh, looking to get the kill. No, body shot there, so no headshots at the moment. Uh, not a huge amount of damage. That was kind of gross. Sorry about that. And Giffy gets taken out by Boulder, actually. So Vector coming in here and doing work. Boink is now down as well, and the Sentry and Dispenser for Emro down. So it looks like Vector's getting some time back on the point. Only 30 seconds left, though, for Death Rattle. So I think if Death Rattle retakes the point, then Vector's going to be in big, big trouble. Um, Vector right now, though, they do hold it. They're trying to get as much time on the point as possible. They've got the Uber ready to go. So does their opponents, but their opponents are going to have to push into their team. Nixter on the sniper, and we're going to have to see if Nixter can do anything really important here to, to slow down the enemy's push. Actually, right now, Boink and Blix are both jumping in, and so is Giffy, and they all get taken out there. Emro now as well. I think what they were trying to do there was just a coordinated push without their medic to uh, to knock out OSVG or force them to pop, because that way they'd have the Uber advantage once they respawned. But no, actually, uh, that was it, it kind of failed. They just just, uh, I think I think Vector was ready for that. They did very good dodging and just uh, they held on to their Uber. So now Nixter with a oh, oh he's got some good sight lines here. Oh body shot fully charged on the medic. Pet is down, drops the Uber, and now Vector has a huge Uber advantage to hold on to this point. Big soldier jump coming in right now. He's found a soldier to attack of his own, but no, he goes down as well. Boink and Trisk both down. One of them dying to that mini sentry. Of course, we we know the Breloom Revolution here on YouTube.com/slash/FatMop is uh, going strong in this game. I love to see the uh, mini sentry engineer play. Of course, uh, rocket jumpers and sticky jumpers just hate it. But uh, no, Vector is getting down under a minute now, and it's getting very, very close in this last round. I am extremely excited to see who wins this because honestly, I don't even remember. I was uh, a little bit inebriated last night. But oh, Mile High getting uh, a good additional damage there on Boink before he goes down to yet another Frontier Justice crit. But now we've got a spy actually. Um, Emro did manage to knock out Boulder there, and he's not dead yet. Going for the kill on the sniper, but he's been gerotted and. Actually, gets the revolver kill there before he gets taken down by yet another crit. Actually, that might have been the Gerardi mini crit there from Thrixter, but wow. So, uh, big work there from the spy, Emro. He did not manage to kill the medic, but at least got the demo man. 
and okay, Uber popped the point. Crits Krieg right now, I think, for um, red team, and that Crits Krieg actually completely has wiped out uh, the blue team right now. So Vector losing the point, and that's going to mean about 30 seconds left uh, until. Death Rattle manages to take it. Neither team is going to have an Uber ready to go here. 30 seconds uh, plus 10 seconds is not enough time to build an Uber. The Crits Krieg is going to get pretty close, but right now it's basically all going to come down to whichever team can get out there and kill the most. Trisk immediately getting Boulder down, so that's a big damage advantage for Death Rattle. Uh, point getting capped right now by Vector. They've got a scout standing on it to try to capture it, but no, scout goes down to the uh, soldier here, and Trisk is just not done. He's going huge at the point right now. He's found some more soldiers. The medic over there getting pressured, but no, Trisk has knocked out Mile High Militia. He's popped another enemy into the air, trying to kill that soldier over there and it looks as though uh, death rattle should have this but they've got a player disadvantage right now and they do they end up winning it four to three so that is a game guys this has been fat mop what an exciting match there between vector and death rattle going into overtime a three four victory for death rattle aka 10 points to giffendor so thank you for watching and this has been silent answer signing out